Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Hamrick. And I'm really glad you guys enjoyed the first episode. Um, a lot happened to uh, kind of set up the game. And now we need to go uh, talk to Hamrick's mom. Uh-oh. Hamrick! What did you put in the basement? That would be a Panthera Leo of the class uh, Mammalia and the Order uh, Carnivora? And you let it loose in the tavern? M mistakes were made? You will get rid of this thing. Or else. Get rid of it? I can't get near it without losing an arm. I better ask Mom for advice. Okay, well, maybe she forgave us a l at least a little bit. <laughs> maybe the hero of Sinisa will carry one of my buckets. Oh, wait, the stores are actually... Oh, no, that's Hamrick's house. Hi? In care for a love potion, guaranteed to reveal your true love. Liar. It didn't work last time. For those who do not follow the steps precisely, the potion will not release its magic. Follow these steps. One or two drops mixed in with ice water at room temperature must be drunk from the opposite side of a cup. Oh, I see. Well, uh, maybe next time then. Tell your friends. Mm-hmm. I do want to check up everything before we go uh, ask mom for advice. Back in my day, girls never used to own taverns. We aspired to be fighters like Queen Miriam, the best of the king's word warriors. There's another word warrior? I, I thought there were only four. Three now, aren't there? Algernon the soldier, Witter the sage, and the vilest of them all, the snake, the assassin word warrior. What, what happened to Queen Miriam? She died. Prince Leofric is all that remains of her. Ah. Ooh. Aw, this is sad. Can we free these guys? Oh, look at the monkey with the kid on top. And we got snakes and armadillos below us. Hello, youngling. Which of my exotic beasts can I send home with you today? Uh, no, thank you. I already have one. In that case, would you like to sell it? Not if you're going to treat him like this. That was sad. Have you heard? Murdoch the Word Warrior is defeated. It's time for a revolution, my friend. Blacksmith? Huh. That's cool. Hello, Heimrich. What are you doing here? Looking for some weapons to defend my mom. You got a good heart, kid. But leave the fight in the Baldwin. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you. Oh, look at this guy. Did you hear? The hero of Sinisa killed Murdoch. I won't be bullied into giving royal soldiers free food again. Or fruit again. Got himself a cape now and everything. The hero of Sinisa can't save you from scurvy. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit here. Kids these days say they want a revolution. Back in my day, we didn't go around killing word warriors. Mule food is good enough for me. That's fair. There's a lot of uh, elderly folk in this town. A word warrior dead, eh? Poppycock. You think so? Uh, back in my day, word warriors were truly fearsome. I could regenerate limbs, ride dragons, and even summon polar bears. Poor old man. He's speaking gibberish. I don't know if what they say about the hero of Sinisa is true, but the people have started to hope again. Maybe that's the miracle. Hamrick, my friend. Did you hear? Someone killed Murdoch. 
may maybe it was an accident? A, a terrible, terrible accident that we should all try to forget? It was no accident. Whoever did that must have immense power to defeat a word warrior. People are calling him the hero of Sinisa. My boy, the time has finally come for our revolution. Now, how long... Oh, okay, we got guards here. It's burning time! Well, she gets right to the point, doesn't she? The king's taxes left me nothing. Good riddance to this word warrior, Murdoch, I say. If the hero of Sinisa is so great, maybe he can perform a second miracle and get Baldwin to show up for work. Orders are, no one shall pass. Alright, now we can go ahead and ask Mom for advice. We shall see. I was wondering what vendors we could actually check out and which we couldn't. But it looks like it's a good thing that Murdoch is dead, and people are celebrating it, and they don't know who exactly did it. Good to see you home, son. Did you finish your chores? N no, but Mom, I need your help. I freed a homicidal beast in the basement of Jelena's tavern. Oh dear, that won't do at all. What type of creature is it? Panthera Leo of the class Mammalia and the order Carnivora, yes. A lioness in the common tongue. Here's what you need to do. Get a well-crafted cage of sharia wood, a rod of iron collar for control, and finally a draft so potent it could put a two-ton elephant to sleep. Using those tools, you can tame your lioness. I, I should get all those things now before Jelena decides to kill me. Before you go, always remember to be kind to people, even if it's difficult, because that is often when is the most important. What? What are you saying, Mom? Be kind, listen, and teach others to do the same. Words have power, and the power of words will change the world. Okay, Mom. I'll see you later. I bet she's one of the she's the word warrior who died, quote unquote. Find the suggested items. Okay. I'm gonna be doing a little shopping around town. Anything up here that we should be aware of? Well, with the wrought iron collar, we could probably get that from the blacksmiths. The cage we could get from the pet store. Quote unquote, pet store. And the potion, maybe from the wizard here? Nope. Ah, oh, we got a yellow quill above his head. Hello, youngling. Perhaps I can interest you in a new pet, perhaps? Or food for one? Uh, actually, I, I need a cage crafted with strong sharia wood. It needs to hold a lion. How delightfully unusual. But never fear, all customers leave satisfied at my store. Return in two weeks, and you shall have your cage. B but I need it right now. Impatient, aren't we? To make a cage to hold a lion, I need wood imported from foreign lands. These things take time, my youngling. Mom did sa say words have power. I wonder what else this book can do. Oh, are we... Oh, that must get tiresome. The journey started with a sword. To travel safely in the small boat. Even if it had soldiers on it. Ooh. Okay. So we'll take the sword. Ow. Okay, we're just gonna slice and dice. There we go. And get the boat. And they had to hurry. The winds of the revolution opened the sails of civil war, a storm of troubles for the town. For now, they had to cross the dangerous ocean. Oh, okay, that boat didn't work. 
So let's go with boat. Winds, maybe? Okay, there's the winds of revolution. And sails. Hmm. I don't want to just jump in there. That would probably be bad, wouldn't it? Let's see. And of course, Hamer can't swim. That'd make too much sense. <laughs> Flail. Alright. So maybe what we need to do is get the winds. And then grab the boat. And kind of see what we can do there. What, just is jumping with the boat? What does that do? Does that kill? Yep. Hmm. Have to figure that out. Winds. Grab the boat. And actually, no, where does the boat... Like, we can toss it. Can we pick it up again after we throw it? No. Open the sails. And then the storm. Across the dangerous ocean. Huh. Well, now we're going to have to put our thinking caps on here, guys. Grab the boat. And can we summon the winds again? Yeah, we can. The winds of the revolution. I figure that this would probably be the way to go. Across the dangerous ocean. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? And that goes pretty far. Sails. And that's the problem, like once we use something, it actually the item the previous item goes away. So there's probably something here that I'm missing. Just gonna have to try and figure it out. So there's the lightning. If we head back here, I want to see what happens if we grab the sword. Will it actually strike us? Because that would be funny. Maybe not. So we will take the... Now we know that this doesn't work. Whoa! And I actually dashed there when I shouldn't have. Alright, let me try and figure this out, guys. One sec. There we go. Now, um, 
we went ahead and combined, uh, we took the boat and headed back here and then used the sails. So I'm not sure if the storm's going to help us out, but let's go ahead and maybe rock out the winds. There we go. Aha! Cool. Now, if we activate the winds, does the ship just go away? No! Huzzah! Well, that'll get us going. Onward! Oh! Oh! <laughs> so, we've got a limited amount of time to do that. So I can show you guys what I did here. Grab the sword, kill the guard. I'm sorry, if someone like Hamrick is killing you, you, you need better guards. And then we go ahead and grab the boat. And the storm's not going to assist us. Well, maybe. I don't know. There we are. Combine the sails and the boat together. Set the boat. I wonder if the storm would destroy those pieces of wood there. Negative. That would sink the boat. Good to know for future reference. I figured it was going to be something of the kind. So, mighty winds it is. And we just need to make sure that we jump at the right moment. There we go. Arriving at the destination, a broken crossbow laid at the beach. There were rare animals from a small... Oh. Right, hold on. There were rare animals from a small harmless rat to a giant snake trying to devour it. Oh, that's not how you use a cro crossbow, Hamrick. Oh, okay, we grab the rat. And it chokes to death on the rat. Okay. Now that's what you get for gluttony. Grab the crossbow. Oh, the crocodile with teeth as saws. Ooh. I take it that. Oh! Yes, indeed. Now, I'm wondering what we need the broken crossbow for. So let's go ahead and get the rat. We'll have to run back, I assume. There you go, buddy. And then we grab the snake ourselves. And then maybe throw it at the crocodile. Well, that might... work. Here. The circle of life. Using the ip tree to get the materials and get out of there. Also, we use saws. Ah. So we actually can get the materials from the book. That's awesome. And I guess we got the materials like so. We'll see, otherwise we might have to do that again. Maybe. Is that the cage? Thank you for the cage, sir. That was most kind of you. What just happened? Magic. 
Magic is what happened. Aha! Hey, Imbrick! Say, when did you learn to use a good sword? Or when will you learn to use a good sword? Uh, this morning, actually. But I need something else. Can you make me a wrought iron collar? Sorry, kid. I'm a bit short on iron. If you can find some scrap metal, I can make something for you. I can take a sword from the tiny people in the book. Kid, you should go outside. My fumes are addling your brain. I'll be right back. Hey, where are you going? I guess it keeps on regenerating. So that's something, I suppose. You had access to all sort of dynamite and tools, like the pickaxe. But aside of the torch, you had one fuse. You had had an entrance, but it was blocked by a giant boulder. Okay, so we gotta need to go through there. So let's see if we can grab the pickaxe fir first. Is that... Maybe? Ah, uh, okay. Nope. We have got to use the... the dynamite. And tools like the pickaxe. Aside for the torch, you had one fuse. There we are. And I don't think that we throw it. Let's see. Oh dear. I kind of should have... I should have seen what happened if we actually held on to it, though. Inside, there were goblins. Blocking the way and trying to get the minerals for themselves. Now we use the pickaxe. Oh, wait a minute. No. If you're fighting a goblin, you might as well... Go all in. Just gotta run. Hiya! <laughs> just, just created a nice little blood mark on his forehead. Inside, you could see some water and some buckets. But what for? Then, you saw a torch next to some tar, and an angry, violent goblin hearing some far fixed or near some far-fixed explosions. It was a recipe to make the iron-filled cave explode. Alright, so... We've got buckets... And water. And maybe some tar? Oh, that should have worked. Let's try maybe some tar with the... Nope. So we need something to make that a little bit... Let's try the bucket. And now the torch. No? So, bucket and tar. Oh, wait a minute. Do we... Like so. Sorry, buddy. Oh, what a way to go. Oh, far-fixed explosions! I see what's about to happen here. Oh, we're not gonna make it. No! I'm trying. Oh! <laughs> that was good. I like that. So, there we go. 
And now we run. Didn't know that we were trying to save the entire level. I'm coming, little buddy. You're still very much dead. But still. And make sure that we don't need to... There's the iron. I think we got what we needed. Yep, that's our collar. And he doesn't have much to say. He's kind of like, Oh, the fumes are getting to me. No worries. And now we need to go ahead and talk to Jelena. And let her know that we have the materials to go ahead and grab the uh, lioness from the cellar. And we will do that at the beginning of the next episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed it so far. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.